Hey everybody, I just wanted to record a quick video because I just got done commenting everybody's first social media update and also on the Code Academy Part 1 exercises about the website. And I just wanted to mention a couple things about stuff coming up. So the social media stuff all went pretty good. My comments for that are on the are in the gradebook on Canvas. I don't exactly know how students see the comments, but you see if you can see the comments. And so it's going to be show up under uh, semester social media assignment, and it's just going to be a comment. There's no grade yet because the assignment's not done. Um, basically, keep doing what you're doing. I mean, I think the biggest thing with stuff like LinkedIn and Twitter in particular, um, especially Twitter, is that it'll make more sense if you start to follow more people or entities. Like, for example, um, every newspaper and magazine that you might read has a Twitter account. You can follow them, TV stations, um, uh, famous people, people that you know. I have a Twitter account. You can follow me if you want. I mean, what I'm saying is, is that once you start following people, then people follow you back. Then it makes a little bit more sense. Um, the other thing that's interesting is, and this happens all the time with these assignments. Some people will find some of these some of these uh, media very interesting. Some of these people will not find these the same media very interesting. That is okay. That's because not everybody likes chocolate or not everybody likes strawberry. I mean, that's the sort of like the way that social media works too. What's interesting to figure out is that what is it about that particular media that you don't find interesting or what is it about that you find interesting and stuff like that. So for these initial updates, really all I'm really trying to do is make sure that you are um, engaging in these different media and that you have some kind of experience that you can share with us about uh, how it's been going. Now, as far as the Code Academy projects go, I went through all those and checked them, and basically, there are three possible responses for the part one, which is, and remember, part one is to finish the HTML, CSS exercises. One possible uh, comment was, success! You did it right, congratulations, and on to part two. Another possible one is part, uh, if for part one is almost, you need to do a couple of things to finish up the HTML, CSS exercises before moving on to the next part, and then I explain what those things are. Some of these things are very, very small. Then the other possibility is, my comment is, nope, not done, and it looks like you might need some help. When is a good time to either talk or meet in person, uh, to meet in person or talk via Google Hangouts? And... That's not optional. If you are at this stage still not complete with the exercises, then that's a signal to me that you must be stuck in some fashion and that you need some kind of help. And the thing about these exercises, this part one of, of the Code Academy, um, working with Code Academy, is this is not optional, right? You either, you can't just get a bad grade on this. You either complete the assignment or you don't complete the assignment. If you don't complete the assignment, you can't pass the course. So obviously, you want to complete the assignment. Um, let me know um, when is a good time to talk. Um, send me an email and we can figure it out. I have office hours on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 11 to 2, but I have availability on Mondays and Wednesdays as well. We can talk in person. We can meet in my office. We can meet at like Sweetwaters uh, across from campus. We could, um, if there's a group of people who can wants to meet at a particular time, that might be useful. We can also meet on Google Hangouts, and Google Hangouts is a very easy to use uh, software where you can do video conferencing, you can share screens and stuff like that. Um, but what you can do is just kind of like, you know, hope it goes away because it's not going to go away. All right. So look at that stuff on on the uh, gradebook as well. Uh, two other things in terms of what happens next. First. Look at the second part of the Code Academy exercises, and what you'll notice there is basically you have to find some other exercise in Code Academy to do. And the thing that's important about that is, is that I'm not really that interested in, I don't need to see your work for that, and it's not even necessarily important that you finish the second uh, Code Academy exercises. What I want you to do is try one of these other tutorials and go far enough into it that you can then write about that experience. What is it like to take one of these tutorials to learn how to do coding or, or, what, or, or whatever it is that you decide to do from the Code Academy ones? Uh, you don't have to do the pro ones, of course. I mean, this is all free. Uh, and the other thing is, is pick one of the other Code Academy exercises that you think is uh, towards your skill level. So if you've had a really hard time with this, with the HTML, CSS, you might want to pick something like, I think there's an exercise like make a web page or something like that, which is an even easier version of the HTML, CSS one. If this was easy for you, you might want to pick learning how to do JavaScript or PHP or something like that. 
Okay. Um, the schedule coming up, we're getting into uh, the reading. Oh, wait a minute, hold on. I got a copy over right here. Letting Go of Words. This is a great book. We'll be talking about this this week and next. Um, and then I also will be posting probably about Wednesday or so. I'll keep you, I'll keep you posted about it. Um, what the usability <coughs> test for the English Department website is going to be. I've got a lot of good information and feedback from folks. I'll put together kind of a little survey for everybody to take. And then you'll also uh, write about that experience in a short essay. Um, and we'll, we'll hopefully start talking about that pretty soon. Okay. I'll see you later.